Okay, this is episode two of the whole city career mode. And we are going to start off the episode with buying a fullback. So, I am going to go on to player search. And I would like to find a Premier League. Um, preferably, and then we need to go a right back. Preferably young, very young. If we were 20, then we shall have a look at who there is. So we've got Max Ahrens, probably not going to forward him. Um, I say we try and get Kane Ramsey. Um, see how he goes. Then we're also going to do Ben Johnson. That will be fine. Okay, so that's fine for the moment. We are now going to go and go towards our first match of the season. Just quickly have a look at the calendar. To have a look at who we shall be playing. But first, I think, well, we've got a transfer offer for Bowen from Wol oh, from. Brunus Aries, which we are going to reject. Um, we are going to have a quick look at the calendar to have a look who we are playing. So, in August, we play our first match against Swansea in the league. And our first cup match in the Carabao Cup will be at Colchester away. So, we've got Swansea away and Reading at home. We are just going to play... Well... I think we're going to play just play the Swansea game for this episode. And next episode, we'll do the Reading match and the Colchester match. So, let's get into it then. So, we are going to start doing some training. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at our players. So, we have got Jared Bowen, who is a very hot prospect, who I am definitely going to train up. Dan Batty, who is also another good prospect. As well as Lopez, who I'm also going to train up. So, I'm going to train up Lopez, Batty, Bowen. Um, Burke, I'm going to train up as well. Also a good player. Yep, so that's fine for the moment. So, we're going to do... Um, Bowen, so we're going to do keep up the pace, we're going to do Bowen again, we're going to do adapt attacking scenarios, and then we're going to do, um, I think, at this level we need good central defenders, so Reese Burke will be getting that um, adapt defending scenarios. And then we are also going to have Reese back again on Race Against the Clock to improve his pace. Now, now we are going to do Daniel Batty and see what we can improve in him. I think we should do adapt defending scenarios, improve that. And this is going to be our um, training for the whole season unless we bring in some new players like our right backs. We will improve them as well. So, we're going to simulate this, see how our players do. Good result from Reese Burke, but the rest is pretty average. Um, and I am now going to get... Uh, um, where are they? International management offer. So, we've got... Our uh, international management offer, which means we should be managing England pretty soon. So we shall wait until oh, is that the that's an offer for David Milinkovic? I think we're gonna let him go for a year, let him improve a bit, let him go to Copenhagen, and, and we shall see if he loan is accepted and goes through. So. Let's. Oh, we've got to do some training, I see. In the bottom right. And we have got a loan off of a Keen Lewis Potter. Where's this to? This is to Chris Danard BK. So, we shall accept that. Let him go out on loan, possibly. If it goes through the deal. 
And we shall now do a bit of... Oops. Didn't mean to press on that. Um, we shall go into the training and we shall train up Bowen, Burke and Batty again. And very good results from all three that time. So, we are going to aim for promotion. We're also going to aim high for England. We are going to aim high for a lot of things. And we are going to stop the simulation now because training is available. And we've also got four things in the... Um, oh, so... And Lewis Potter, his loan move was broken down. And Milinkovic has been loaned out. Kane Ramsey, we have got... Kane Ramsey, 61 rated, 18 years of age. Could be a very, very good player. And Ben Johnson, he is 55. Rated at the age of 19. I think the chances are I'm not going to get Ben Johnson, but I think I will put in an offer for Ramsey, which could be very good indeed. So, Reese Burke with a bit of improvement now on his ball control, looking very tasty indeed. So, we shall go to transfers. Oops. Go to transfers and we shall put in a transfer offer for Ramsey. Approach to buy him. And he can play centre back as well as right back. So this could be an interesting move. Okay, so we are going to start off with a transfer fee. And we are going to offer 500k for him. And that's accepted. That's that's a very good deal for us. But not much transfer um, not much transfer budget used. And relatively cheap. So, decent player as well. Decent prospect. Yeah, in he comes. Um, we have got... At um, the moment, he will be rotation. Which is fine for him at the moment. Uh, five years. That is what we want. And that that's fine by me. I don't want a release clause. Don't want him to get bought by any other club. And he's gone on a... We're going to counter. And we are going to remove the appearances bonus. But we're going to see if he accepts that. He accepts that. So that is a very good deal there. And we shall remove Johnson from the start list. That is quality. We have signed a very decent player in in Ramsey there. He looks good. We have already done one of our objectives, our youth development, which is absolutely fantastic. So we shall train up Ramsey. Um, in the next one, we shall remove Daniel Batty. We shall remove Daniel Batty. Actually, I think we shall we will get rid of this Reese Burke. And we shall put in Ramsey. And we shall put him on Defender Minia. And Batty. We're not gonna be using him as much. This year compared to Lopez, so I think Lopez would be a defend the money. That would be a very good one, and that is what we're going to use now from now on. And um, they all look to be getting on very well. So we shall go on, and we shall now go and play the Swansea game, and we shall end the episode after that. This will be interesting. There is a transfer offer for Bowen from Atlanta. And we are going to reject that straight away. No problem. So, um, what the player chat? Matthew Pennington. Um, pick me over back. Um, I'll consider it to him. 
but um, I don't think I actually will give him the chance. I think we need a good solid start. Reese Burke will start, and we are going to attend our press conference. Our first press conference is Hull City Manager. And Thank you for got, joining here us here comes. today. We'll be taking some questions. Willie Brito is coming to the um, press conference. Okay, so it wasn't exactly um, a good. So, um, so we've ironed out all of our um, bad things. I think that's the best option for us, really, um, because we've brought in some new players and we've trained up very well. Um, um, Consistency is key, uh, which is true. We need to keep consistent in the league. Um, if if we um, if we make any errors, then we will. Yeah, it will not go very well if we make mistakes. Um, I think Ramsey will prove at the moment that he is the right man um, when it comes to his time, which will be in cup games. Apologies Ramsey if you will. couldn't ask a question. Thank you very much. Yeah, Ramsey will be um, playing in the cup games ahead of Eric Lehigh, which shall be excellent. We are now going to jump into the game against Swansea. And we are going to have a quick look at the team sheet for today. The team sheet for today is... Let's have a look and see if we are going to move anyone onto the bench. I don't think we are. Might give Ramsey a go on the bench, head of Callum Elder. That will be very good. Um, yes. So. So, I um, need to access the controller just there. Um, going to management, we are going to give Calmelder a run on the reserves. Put Ramsey in. Very good prospect. So, the team sheet for today will be George Long in goal, Lehigh at right back, um, Burke and Device at the centre backs, Kingsley left back, Stuart and Lopez in the holding. Bowen on the right, Grzycki on the left, e and Irvine in cam with Tom Eves up front with McGuinness, Balogger, Terrell, Batty, Pennington, Ramsey and Ingram on the bench. So we are now going to jump into our first league game of the season against Swansea at the Liberty Stadium. Come on the Tigers. We're going to be trying to play with a very attacking style of play. Try not to sit on our league lead. We need to keep the passing low. Play a few high balls up to um, Tom Eves. See what we can do. We're going to try and defend now. Reese Burke does incredibly well there. I think I'm going to enjoy using him. Does very well there again. We're now going to skip into the game. And this is at the Liberty Stadium, the home of Swansea City. Hi there, everybody. We're at the Liberty Stadium in Swansea. Welcome to you all. Martin Tyler calling the game for you, along with Alan Smith. And it's the start of the season okay. for both these teams. So, it's Tommy against Hull City. is leading so line for Hull City in this opening round. Chasing down Ayu and wins start. the ball off him and runs at Roberts. Oh, that was a slightly risky That's challenge there. And um, this is Swansea City's team for you today. To back in shape here. I think that back Lopez. four is really important for them. They've got really. to be strong and solid. And they've got a bit of protection, and haven't they? The they have. They it should goes have out more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own right, but. Uh, uh, Lopez will be chasing really down again, the high work rate of the Portuguese. Oh, and he's probably enjoying his vice here. And that is a goal, but it is oh, offside. Decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the and crowd, Baha but it's the Baston, right decision. The 
It looked offside from when he played what the ball. What did you make through. of it, Alan? Well, I thought he was offside, three, you know, three, but uh, he's gone through oh, and tucked it away. Oh, it looking at the replay, yes, he off. had gone a bit Man early. on the far side was playing him on. Risky play here from the Tigers, but we get away with it. Good Jordan Rice plays out to Stephen Kingsley. Plays it into the middle for Jackson Irving. Irvine and plays out to Eric Lehigh who plays it into Lopez. Back to Irvine and back to Lopez. Plays it out to Eric Lehigh and he drives down the way. Good support running. Plays the ball in sweeps. Oh, the ball he's capably with that tackle. The ball taken off him. Long legs. Possibly didn't help his reaction time there. But anyway, it's 1 0 on the ball. Carol. Um, Kevin Stewart needs to Roberts. come on and press a bit more. Now Carol. Ooh, they're basketball. getting a bit dangerous here. So to run at them. Um, he's offside there. Right, Andre Ayew Ayu offside now. is offside when the ball was played through from Boha Baston. He's to give those defenders a yard or two, you know, because he's yeah, quicker he than was, them. Uh, yeah, he's right foot was just offside. So, fair decision from the linesman there. Um, now Stewart. Kevin Stewart gets the ball and drives. Oh, Cut bad pass, pass from Stewart. Bad pass. Not a good pass at all. Um, Kingsley needs to get out of the way here. because they know he can dribble it here. And he has, hasn't prevented well, the cross, but it's headed clear. Only is clear. Just can't Tom get Carroll out of the moment. It's a good clearance in one way. Intercepted. But it's only just bought them and a few extra seconds Tom to be organised. Plays the ball, goal from which Barnsley. gets intercepted. It's a goal for Fulham. Um, 15 minutes played, 1 0. There we go. Again Irvine on the Alan ball. McInally. Thanks, Alan. Oh, bad pass from Jackson. Not a good oh, pass at all. Lopez, no interception. All. Great interception of the ball from Lopez. A bad pass from Stephen Kingsley. Kirk Kingsley needs to return for his arrow. Don't let the ball go inside. Now from this wide position, not closed down. And is he going to get the ball in time? I don't think he is. He's going to prevent the cross. Great play from Kingsley. Played inside from Grzycki. And it's going to be played out for Bowen to the for, for the first time. Who's going to play in Lehigh. Who is going to drive down the wing. And whips the ball in. Tom Eaves scores! Hull City lead! The mighty Tom Eaves knocks in the goal and he goes to celebrate around the back of the goal. Okay, good goal from Tom Eaves there. Cracking finish. And he goes and celebrates with his players. And this is... Is classic. He's in front of the defender at the last moment and heads the ball into the net. Doesn't matter how it goes in, as long as it does. Tommy scores 1 0 to the Tigers. And the ball is kicked off from Borja Baston to get the game underway again. Swansea passing the ball around very nicely here. Trying to create that opportunity. And Peterson gets past Bowen. And this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous here. And it's cleared out by Jordi Device. Oh, bad pass from Irvine. What a challenge. What a challenge that was. Reese Burke threw himself at that and blocks the shot from Selena. That was almost certainly going in the bottom left corner. That was an absolute thunderbolt from Selena. And an absolutely cracking block from Reese Burke. And Tom Eaves is there to head it away. And that's a great block from Tom. Great block from Tom. Irvine running to um track the ball down. And there we go. The ball is safe for now. And Jared Bowen will drive the ball clear. Plays the ball into Eaves. Who taps it off. And Grzycki's clear. Grzycki's clear. Grzycki's clear and... Grzycki's clear in behind. And shoots. All close. And that's put wide. There's a very close shot from Jackson Irvine. And Hull City have come close again. Grzycki hitting the bar. And then Irvine close with the volley. Stephen Kingsley will play it out there to Eric Lehigh. 
and Jared, and it'll be played out to Jared Bowen, into Jackson Irvine, Tom Eaves, who's done an absolute cracking ball out here to Kamil Grzycki, Kamil Grzycki, Kamil Grzycki! Whoa, flies over the bar from the pole. Real effort there from Camille. Might have taken a deflection, but the, the line now says not, and so does the referee. And it's played out wide. Need to press here. Jared Bowen pressing here, and he does well. But the Swansea get out extremely well. Got a bit of space down this left-hand side. Need to get the ball off them otherwise before they create something dangerous. Oh, a great ball to Andre Ayew. Kingsley needs to get the right side, and Jordy Device does well. Jordy Device does very well. Kevin Stewart plays it to Lopez. And then Lehigh gets the ball and looking for the switch to Kingsley, who will then go past Ayew. Burst of pace. Oh, to Grzycki. Back into Stewart. Oh, and ease. He's going to shoot. Oh, Tom Eaves with the effort. Very close from the Englishman. He was not far away there at all. It's worth having the shot from there. Tom Eaves could have gotten the score sheet. And the ball is kicked long. And Lopez wins the header of Selena. And Bidwell on the ball. Passes to Fulton, to Peterson. And he's gone round Lehigh. And Kevin Stewart's covering for Eric Lehigh. And he's got to block the cross. And he has done so. Oh, and the the ball's gone in now, though. And it's cleared. And it's out with Fulton. Roberts. Carroll on the ball now. And back with Carroll. And can he get around Kingsley? Yes, he can. Joy Device. Lopez now. What a clearance this is. Well done to the lads for the defending there. Oh, loose ball from Jared Bowen. Not like him at all. Shouldn't be lo doing loose passes like that, especially not being the when you're the best player in the team. Oh, Stewart. Tried the little flicks. Didn't pay off, and that is half time. We go into the break with 1-0. With the mighty Tom Eaves scoring the only goal of the game so far. He's had an absolute blinder so far this game, Tom Eaves. And could he take Hull City to the first win of the season in the first match of the season? Possibly even take them top. Okay, can Bowen make the run? Oh, bad pass from Lehigh. And uh, Irving coming. Oh, and Irvine is going to press here. Lehigh needs to drop back into defence. This is this is dangerous. It's dangerous for Burst and Selena. Kingsley covering the ball. And George Long with the hold. Very well played there from George. And Jared Bowen. Oh, he can't get there first. This is a dangerous position now. He needs to stop. get the ball off him. Oh, Jared Bowen. That's a very, very poor pass. And Reese Burke has been pulled out of position here to come and block the pass. Cross. And Irvine comes and collects the ball to Tom Eaves, who gives it back to Irvine. Irvine to Lopez. And then Lopez to Bowen. Oh, great tackle from Bidwell. Bidwell with an absolutely crunching challenge and takes the ball off Bowen. And can King. Yes, he does. Great, great, great interception from Kingsley. And next game, just being reminded, we are playing Reading at the KCOM. First home game of the season. And that was great pressing there from the Tigers. If Kingsley can win that header and we get possession back, we have done extremely well here. Eves around the corner. Shoots and scores! Tom Eves with the goal. Makes it 2-0 to the Tigers. Absolutely amazing goal. Great goal from Tom Eaves. Turned and spun, used his pace to get round the defenders. Great ball in from Kevin Stewart. And what a finish that is from Tom. Great goal into the top left-hand corner. 
Great dip on the shot. The might of football definitely played a part there. Great goal. That is 2-0 to the Tigers at the home of the Swans. This is a very good start to the season considering the side that Swansea have. Okay, Eves is going to pressure down the ball here. And we are going to make some subs pretty soon. And I think we are going to give um, the new boy... Um, oh, going to give the new boy some time on the pitch here. And we are... Eves, oh, he's been muscled off the ball. Okay, we are going to make a sub now. And we are going to take Eric Lehigh off. And Ramsey is going to come on. We are also going to bring on John Terrell. But Jackson Irvine. And we are going to bring on Josh McGuinness. For Tom Eaves, who's had an absolute blinder today. Tom Eaves has played fantastically. But he's going to be replaced with Josh McGuinness. Who's going to choose his strength to try and... Get past these Swansea defenders and make the game more comfortable than it already is. We need to concentrate on the game now, though, rather than the subs. And Kamil Grzycki's been played through, and he cuts inside. Oh, great last-ditch challenge there from the Swan. Absolute challenge that was. What a challenge. And here the ball comes. Down the right-hand side. Ayu's there with the ball. Kingsley's tracking him down. This is great play from Ayu. And it goes out off Kingsley for the corner. Our subs are coming on now. And can Josh McGuinness make an instant impact from the corner? And George Long comes and punches. Well done, George. McGuinness. Oh, oh, this is dangerous here. This is dangerous. Do not like it in there. And Bowen gets it clear. And John Terrell gets the ball and will drive at these defenders and loses it. Probably the wrong option there. Probably should have played it to Josh McGuinness. And then Bowen plays it into Terrell, who plays the ball to Lopez. And plays it to McGuinness, who plays it back to Terrell. Oh, wanted to play it to Stewart there, but the ball was played to Kamil Grzycki. Um And I think he may be offside there, which he is. It was offside there for Mackay. Ramsey, the new boy, on the ball. Can he make the overlap? Ramsey makes the overlap. Look at his height. Ramsey! What a run that was. The foul is made. And that is a very, very good way to introduce yourself to the club. Gets the, gets the foul. Barry Mackay gets a yellow card. The ball is going to be whipped in at pace here. Can we challenge him? Oh, Josh McGuinness! Oh, the bicey was attempted. It was a really good effort from him. The Northern Irishman nearly pulled off the unthinkable, but it wasn't to be. Okay, Kevin Stewart under the ball, gets his head on it, but it's into no one. It's to Andre Ayew. And City are going to pressure him here. Come on, pin him in, lads. We need to try and get possession of the ball. Oh, just got there. Ramsey needs extremely well here. Oh, Ramsey, oh dear. Ramsey had a bit of a shocker. He's had an absolute shocker on debut. Oh, and it nearly came to a goal as well. Burst and Selena nearly scores from an, from an error from the new boy, Ramsey. And thankfully, it didn't go into the net and we still have our two-goal lead. Oh, Josh McGuinness. Couldn't quite get to the ball in time. Before the defender got the ball. Bowen chasing the ball down. Ten minutes left on the clock. Ramsey's got to play got to play strong here. And he did well. Now Lopez needs to track down Mackay. Cover for Ramsey. And Ramsey the goalkeeper. He's done excellently there. Ramsey's done very well. So the ball is gonna be played out to Ramsey. That was his first touch. Excellent. 
And it's going to be to Jared Bowen. Who is going to run this ball. Oh, late challenge from Bowen. Really late challenge from Jared. It will be a red card. Red card for Jared Bowen. Really unexpected. I thought that was only a yellow card myself. But it's a red card for the star player, Jared Bowen. Maybe a bit of frustration that he couldn't get on the score sheet today. But Jared Bowen has been sent off and will be unavailable for three games. We're going to have to have a, have a go at our next few games without Jared Bowen. He hasn't made a massive impact on the game today. But he has still been one of those vital people on the pitch cheering lads on to try and keep the spirits up. Ramsey's on the ball here. Ramsey. Oh, bad pass. Should have gone to Lopez. Ramsey needs to come in here with a great challenge. What a challenge from Ramsey. Great challenge. John Terrell comes out to try and pressure it and Ramsey is here out here by himself now. Terrell. Ramsey get his head on that. And it's offside. Fulton is offside there. And all we have to do now is wind the clock down. Wind the clock down and we will win this game. And we have only got a few more seconds on the clock. And that'll be it. That'll be that. Hull City win 2-0. But the whole game was overshadowed by the red card of Jared Bowen. It did ruin the result. But no matter what happened, it's still a good three points for the Tigers. Any three points will do. But... We will be without Jared Bowen for the next three matches. Who will come on instead of him? The, the possibilities that we could put at right mid are uh, oozing through the team. We could always try and play um, David Malinkovic. I know he's gone out on loan, hasn't he? So I don't know who we're going to put right ring. We're going to have to have a look. Um, at the time, we're going to do a, the post-match interview and have a look at how we are doing after this post-match interview the episode will be coming to an end and then we will be having another upload tomorrow um for the next episode okay so yeah with the first win in the belt it's a good good win for the team good win for me um I feel like the lads have definitely given 100%, which will improve the team morale quite a bit. So, next question is, um, Ramsey's first minutes as a Hull City player, what do we make of his debut? I think he played well in patches. Um, and he did play well, but it was a bit of a surprise what he brought out onto the pitch today, especially for the rating that he is. He's brought out a absolute blind today. Um, I'm going to fully support Bowen. I, d I don't personally think it was a red card myself. I think it was only a yellow card for Jared Bowen. But at the end of the day, that's all a... Um, that's it's the rest decision on the pitch, not, not the manager's decision on the sidelines. So we... Uh, going to have a look at what we've got now. So, okay, so Matthew Pennington's a bit unhappy. Loan off for Keane Lewis Potter, which we are going to accept. Um, to don't know how you pronounce that one. Well, we're going to accept it anyway and hope that uh, um he ends up going to the club. Jared Bowen. Um, oh, it's only a one match ban. For the red card. So he will not be available for the game next episode. Okay, it's time to end the episode now. We'll see you 